Hi everyone, welcome back. I am Lou of Lou G's Angelic Connections and this is today's Instagram message. Okay, so I have been drawn to use my Divine Feminine deck and I'm just going to be pulling one card as always, just as a bit of guidance, a bit of advice, a bit of insight into what energies may be surrounding you at this time. Okay, so I'm going to call in my angels, guys, keep us alive, please guide me at this time. Which Divine Feminine has a message for us today? Which one card above all cards is in the highest good of us all to receive today? What one message do we need to be seeing today? That's more than one. Let's have a look. Please make it clear and concise. There we go. We have Rita of Kaskia, and it is the patroness of impossible causes. I am miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibilities. Wow, that sounds interesting. Let's dig into this. Rita. Card number, or page number 13. So I'll hold it there. If we draw in the energies. Rita of Kaskia, the patroness of impossible causes. I am miraculous. My prayer, my prayers create powerful channels of possibility. Saint Rita of Kaskia's life demonstrates the power of prayer to shift even what appears to be an impossible cause. She was born Margarita Lotti in 1381 in Italy to noble parents. She is associated with bees because as a child it is said that they swarmed her but never stung her. The bees are symbolic of Mary and of the diligent work that must be done to gather honey or the immortal sweetness of Christ's love. Although Rita wants to enter a convent, she was forced to marry Pablo Mancini and had her first child at age 12. Her husband was a wealthy nobleman who had many enemies in Caskia. Rita endured abuse and infidelities, but through prayer and kindness, she converted him to Catholicism. He then renounced the family feud known as La Vendetta. Even though Paolo had become a new man. A member of the feuding family murdered him for his previous acts. Rita's two sons wanted to avenge their father's death, but before they could, they both died of dysentery. After the death of her husband and sons, Rita wanted to enter the monastery of St. Mary Magdalene in Caskia. She was given the condition that her family had to reconcile with the family that killed her husband before she could gain entrance. Rita prayed to her patron saints, John the Baptist, Augustine of Hippo and Nicholas of Tolentino, of Tolentino to assist her in creating peace between the two rival families. The bubonic plague was ravaging Italy at this time and happened to take several members of both families. This was enough hardship that they agreed to relinquish the feud. Rita entered the St Mary Magdalene Monastery at the age of 36. Catholic legend says that she was transported into the monastery by her three patron saints via levitation. And legend also relates that while she was meditating on Christ at age 60, a ray of light pierced her between the eyes. The stigmata remains there until her death of tuberculosis in the monastery in 1457. When your soul selects her card. Despite popular belief, Saint Rita isn't about suffering or martyrdom. Not in this context. Here she is about the miracles that happen when we choose to be steadfast about something or someone. This does not mean remaining in a situation that is harmful to us. It means knowing that we can believe anything is possible and that everyone is ultimately forgivable. Because forgiveness isn't about someone else, it's about freeing ourselves. 
We might have to draw fierce boundaries and possibly never see this person again, but we can pray from a distance that a light larger than our own transforms them, that a love that's greater than what we alone can hold and have for them might offer them a new life. St. Rita is asking us foremost to never give up on what we want for ourselves, as she and she's suggesting that the path to what we desire is in our belief that it is still possible. We might not know how or when things will align for us, but we can participate in deep prayer, a bone trust that is some that at some point what we most desire will arrive. What do I believe is possible for my life? I am miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibility. Okay, so this is saying to you, no matter what is going on in your life, no matter if you've got a dream and you're not quite sure how it's going to manifest, how it's going to become a reality for you, have that faith, have that trust that it can happen for you. Pray to the angels, pray to God, pray to the divine, the universe, whatever your source is, pray, pray and ask for it to happen. It may not come in a format of exactly what you want, but it will come in a format of what you actually need. Prayer can work miracles. It can really change the course of things that happen in your life. Have trust, have faith that what you want, wants you. OK, so that is your message. Thank you for being here. You take care. Have a fantastic day. Bye bye.